Hey everyone, it's Ben from Board to Bits, and this is part 20 of our point and click adventure game tutorial series in Unity. In this episode, we're going to be um, extending our prerequisite script a little bit further by creating another function. Instead of just being able to interact with objects, we're going to set a prerequisite that will not even let us reach a node until the prerequisite has been met. So for this video, we're going to, um, we're going to be working with our uh, sphere here. Um, in the last video, we worked with our cube. In this case, now I'm going to um, kind of show the difference by taking the sphere, which also has an observer on it. And we're going, but instead of being able to just not interact with the observer, we're not even going to be able to really get up close to the sphere until we've um, met our prerequisite. So to start, we're going to jump into our prerequisite script again. We're going to add a quick, um, another variable here. I'm going to call public bool node access. And this is basically just going to check, is this prerequisite um, specific to ac actually accessing the node? Um, so for example, for our cube right now, we would just keep this as false because it's not, it's that one's about interaction, not even ac not access. This, uh, for our sphere, we are going to make it about access. However, our complete um, check can stay the same. Um, that's not going to be impacted. We're still just looking at the switcher and checking if it's in its true state or not. So now we can add this prerequisite to our red sphere. And we are going to check off node access for this one. And I'm going to take our can prop and add that as the switcher to watch again. I'm just going to quickly double check node access is, yes, indeed not checked. Um, here on the blue cube, but for our red sphere, we do want that. Now, how are we going to make sure that the sphere is not accessible? Well, let's think about where, where it becomes accessible for us. So let's hit play. We go to the table, and it's right here, once we're at the table, that this collider turns on so that we can then click and reach the sphere. So that's where we need to be stopping, that is when we reach the table. And how we're doing that right now in our current script setup is in our nodes, when we arrive at a node, we, de we then do this thing called set reachable nodes where we turn on all of the um, colliders that are within reach. So that's really where we want to be, um, be um, making our change is in this set reachable nodes function. Because right now we are just saying if there's a node that's reachable and it has a collider, that collider should turn on. And you've noticed that's kind of similar to how we had our inter our prop script and we just had originally said, if there's an interactable, just turn it on. So same way again, we're actually gonna, we're actually gonna take the script um, that we had in our prop script, this kind of check beforehand to see if the prerequisite is met. We're gonna copy that and we're going to paste it just before um, this here. So what we're going to do is we're going to say if the node has a collider, if the collider is not null, then let's quickly check and see is there a prerequisite? Um, is the word prerequisite not complete? But we also want to check one more thing before we even check if that's complete and that is we're going to say and get component prerequisite dot node access because if this isn't if we have a prerequisite but it's not an access one prerequisite then we don't have to worry about it we can still like for example for that cube we can still get to the cube so at this point here on the cube we'll ignore we'll just go oh we don't meet this if condition just move on and set the uh, collider however for our sphere we will go we have a prerequisite it is about node access, and then we're going to check if we're complete or not. So we'll hit save, go to our game, save the scene as well, hit play, and now we should see here, we go to our table, and our sphere collider is still becoming accessible, so that's a little bit funky. Hit save, and let's see why that might be. So right now we're setting reachable nodes. When we reach the table, come 
back here for a second. Table has the red sphere. So we get to the red sphere. We are watching for the switcher. So why are we returning? Well, truth be told, this isn't actually the best way for us to do this regardless because we're in a for each loop, so we don't want to break out of the loop prematurely. Um, so I'm actually going to delete this regardless because there's probably a better way for us to do this right now. Um, if, there is a, if there is a prerequisite and the prerequisite is about access, then we're actually going to go going to do some, we're going to do some nesting ifs here, which isn't ideal, but is going to probably be the best way we can do this. I think. Um, so I'm just going to cut all this and instead in here I'm going to say if this, if this is all the case then if get component is complete then we're going to actually set the thing to enabled, set the node to a collider to enabled. Um, otherwise we're not going to and here I'm going to say else set it as well. So this is a little bit confusing right now but we're basically saying if the node has a collider, if the collider has a prerequisite then check if it's an access and it's an access prerequisite. Then we need to make sure and check this. Otherwise, we can just set it. So if there is no prerequisite, then we can just set it to set the uh, collider to enabled. If there is a prerequisite but it is not an access prerequisite, we can still set it to enabled. However, if it's a prerequisite and it's about access, then only if it's complete will we do it. Otherwise, we're just going to jump out of this loop and not do anything for that particular node. And then we can continue through our loop. So this should work. We'll try this again, and otherwise we might have to see if there's somewhere else that something's being enabled that shouldn't be. So let me hit play here. And we go to our table. And we're still turning on that collider. That is peculiar. Let's see here. So we're setting all, for each node in reachable nodes, it's going through, is there something in our prop that's turning it on? Interactable, no, we're not, because we're not arriving. Let's double check the location script. Location doesn't have anything in it, so that's not doing anything for us. Node is what we've been working in. Sometimes you get unexpected results. Let's see here. We're leaving the current node, setting the table to the current node. We're aligning the camera. We're turning off its own collider and then we're setting reachable nodes to true. for each node in reachable nodes. Collider does not equal no. Let me quickly check something here. Debug.log get component prerequisite. This, oh, oh, that's why. This was a silly problem and sometimes typing it out gets you to it. Problem is I'm checking to see if the table has a prerequisite, and this should absolutely be checking if the node has a prerequisite. So all of these need node because we're checking the particular node of the of the sphere. There we go. That should resolve this for us. And so now if you go here, it's still good that we did that and we didn't have the return in there because that could really screw up this loop and suddenly there should be, you know, if there are future nodes that should be accessible, we would be losing all that. So 
kind of glad I made the initial mistake, but that's that is the reason is be sure you're checking the actual object and not its parent. Now we can hit play, go to the table, and now we see that we can't even interact with our sphere now. Cube we can still move up to, but then we can't interact with it. The sphere we can't even move up to. However, if we go to our can, turn it on, back out of that, and then go back here, now we can move up to our sphere and we can interact with it. And likewise, we can still interact with our cube as normal. So that's um, how you might set up a access prerequisite. And that's really helpful for things like, for example, maybe you didn't even want to be able to get to the table until you um, touch the can. Maybe there's a force field around the table or you've got a door in your way, things like that. That's really um, a big part of a lot of point and click games are really just being able to access one point from another from another. And so um, this is a pretty easy way just with this um, node access check here and checking those couple of um, if statements to be able to get from place to place or from object to object in your game. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.